I'm not making this video to freak anyone out, but a woman's intuition is never wrong. So I've just been having really weird feelings four months about my boyfriend where like i'm getting really 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 bad anxiety because i feel like something's wrong he's like telling me everything's fine i don't know to the point where i literally have tried two different anti-anxiety medications because i'm like my anxiety's so bad i finally listened to my intuition and i went on his apple watch to look at his text and he's been cheating on me i am anxious because i knew he was cheating on me like my guardian angels were literally protecting me and being like I was just being cheated on that is just a game guys that is just a game I wish honestly that it wasn't like that that men and women weren't cheating on each other but then again nowadays everything is just a scam and even relationships are scams let me tell you dating is not for the faint of heart no matter who you are no matter what you look like everyone goes through it mm. I myself had a tragedy on Saturday night Went out with a South African guy. Let's call him <laughs> Dave. We actually have already got. Oh my God! I think I know this South African guy. There's a comedian. What's his name? The guy with the you know the big hair, the the Afro guy. What is his name? I forget his name. But you guys know, you know the comedian, which is he's a, he's a horrible comedian. I hate him. But uh, yeah, that South African guy. Could it be that South African guy? On the first date, seven months ago, was actually a vibe. I remember thinking like, oh my God, is this my guy? But on the date, he said something that made me really sad. He was charming, he was handsome. He's what I believe the girls would call husband material, mm. if you know what I'm saying. The conversation flowed. I said halfway through the date, oh my God, this is a vibe. And I said, I know, you're fun. OMG. Then he says to me, what is it you're looking for? I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, am I, is it about to happen? Is this, ha is this happening to me? I tell him, I tell him really honestly, I'm happy being single, but I'm looking for a relationship. I want to be in a monogamous, committed, faithful relationship. <sighs> he agreed, that's the kind of a relationship he wants too. It's Trevor Noah. That's the guy that I'm thinking of. It must be Trevor, bruh. Because he was dating Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is like my dream girl. And then I ask him, what do you want? And then he girls, he said, he's looking for casual. <whistles> At the moment, he's not looking for a relationship. Okay. Okay, respect. Respect, he told me. Whatever. I've seen this a lot with women when a man is honest about what he wants they don't like that it's almost like they want men to continue playing games if this was vice versa and she said something like this right where oh no i'm just i'm not really looking for a relationship i just want it to be casual if we said anything about that oh my god we'll probably get cancelled so i'm just like you got to keep the same energy you have to but honestly, the vibes were so good. Let him kiss me that day. Not a big one, just a little peck. Look. We continue texting, and this is where Dave really ruins it. Two days later, he texts me at 10 p.m. asking if I'd like to join him for a nightcap. There's casual, and then there's casual. Also, at this point, I'm a 32-year-old woman. I'm sober. At what point? So I want to join you for a nightcap. It broke the fantasy. It broke the excitement. I text him a couple of days later saying, listen, I think we're wanting different things. He was respectful. I think he kind of admired the way I said, you know, you're handsome and charming. Sure, you're not going to find it hard to find a girl to match your pace. He said I was stunning and really nice and really lovely and that he was sure I would find what I wanted. We parted ways. We didn't follow each other on socials. There was zero communication. This is 100, 1,000% 1, Trevor Noah. This is about Trevor, bruh. One, 1,000. I kind of forgot he was alive. This brings us to the present time. Last week, I got a text from South African Dave. <laughs> he wants to know how I am, what I'm up to, and what I'm looking for. Oh, At Jesus. this point, my imagination kind of runs wild. He asked how I am. He asked if I'm single. 
You probes into my dating life. What am I looking for? I say the same thing. I'm happy being single, but that I'm open to a relationship. I ask him, are you still on your casual only vibes? And then he said, I'm somewhere in between casual and looking for love. Hmm. What does this mean? And why are you texting me seven months later after we first meet? Are you looking for a relationship and you've just remembered me? Little old me? We set a date. Saturday night. He wants to go for dinner. I wear my cutest outfit. I did my hair and my makeup perfectly, but as if I hardly had any on. It's crazy how they change the whole demeanor when it comes to popular people. Oh, we don't follow each other. She, she has to put it out there, but it's just subtle. Mr. South African. Come on, who's the biggest comedian which comes from South Africa? I wore this jacket, H&M baby. I meet him at the restaurant. He's as handsome as ever. Even more charming than before. We were smiling, we were laughing. Then he says, out of the blue, I didn't even ask him. You'll never guess what he said. Uh, I'm just looking for casual. I wanted to leave right there and then. But I you thought, didn't. no, I'll just let you flirt with me for the next two mm. hours. How bad can it get? Spoiler alert, it gets worse. Towards the end of the day, we're chatting. I'm letting him flirt with me. <laughs> What's the harm in that, I think? And then he says to me, do you want children? Bit forward for someone who's just asking for casual, but sure. I said, yes, I do want children. And then I got brave and I said, that's a big reason why I'm not looking for casual. And then he said, wait for it. Bearing in mind, I barely know this man. He said, in his South African twang, I'll never guess what he said. These words verbatim. Better freeze those eggs, girl. What? You said what? What? And I felt like saying to him, what do you mean freeze my eggs? I'm on a date with a guy I've already told I'm not looking for casual. This man is older than me. I could really get into feminist politics here, discuss misogyny, blah de blah de blah. That's not the point of this video. I didn't get annoyed, I didn't get angry. Actually, I agreed and I said... The reason why you didn't get annoyed and didn't get angry is because this is Trevor Noah Okay, I'm, I allegedly, this is Trevor Noah, which you're sitting across from and you're thinking of all of the people which he can introduce you to, how famous he is, what he can do for you. Because if this was just a random guy which you were talking to and just this guy said something about, oh, I want casual and this, she would not care. She would just be like, oh, okay fine that's that's nothing that i want so should walk away do you know how many girls i've seen on this app which are sitting in they're like a five which is like so i walked away the guy did all of that all of that but yet she was still sitting there still she was listening to him so it just goes to show if you're not famous you are effed yeah i probably will I kept it cute, I kept it classy, I kept it sexy. Mm. We left, I had another party to go to. He brought me to my car. He tried to kiss me. Mm. Oh, South African days. Mm. Your girl gave him the cheek, because who do you think you are? He shut my car door. As he was shutting it, he said, this was really great. Let's Listen, do he it. did the exact same thing with Dua Lipa. The exact same thing, he was walking Dua Lipa to her car. And then as they were standing there, then they were kissing. And I was fuming because that's like my dream girl. I was, I was like, I hate this guy. From, from now on, I hate like all of his like jokes. Like every time I see Trevor Noah right now, I'm just like, I just hate him. I just like, cause you dated my dream girl. Trevor, you, you, we, me and you can no longer be friends because you dated Dua Lipa. You could have, you, you have the whole world to date, but you have to date my dream girl. So I'm like, that's, it's, 
we can never be friends. We can, that's, it's, it's enough. But from a strategic perspective, he did, he did the right thing. Again sometime. I said, sure. He now texted me twice since then, just checking up, seeing how I'm doing, wanting to make conversation. I've not responded once.